because of how fearless he is. It's, I mean, he, for a 19-year-old, he has an incredible football brain. I mean, he knows exactly when to lend it, when to get it back, when to take players on. What I love is whenever he takes a touch, his head is up. Mm. Before he takes defenders on, he first checks to see what's happening around him. If there's nothing, okay, then I'll take you on. I'll move you around. Then I can lend it. I can get it back again. And, and Wonderful football brain. The important thing about uh, Ratomo is, for me, there's an end product. Mm. There's the final pass or there's the final shot on goal. And very often you see skillful plays, but there's something missing. And it's always that end product. And I think that this is something that Mofo King has. Now, as much as you guys can sing about how good Mofo King is, Coach Pablo Franco has had to have a plan as to how to make sure that all that ability you spoke about isn't unleashed on his side. Yeah. What do you do? Because so far, it's been very difficult to keep him from having a good game, even when Pirates don't win. How do you make sure that he doesn't have a great game today? Very true. I think, I think it goes back to, to, to what Stigl was, was illustrating in terms of having Mubarak sort of drop into that centre of midfield. Mm. Well, centre of defence, sorry, so that you have extra bodies. You've got three centre-backs and you've got the wide players as well doing their job. So you're not, mm. you're not calling anybody to sort of go out of position. You can get Ben Masari to, to screen as best as he can. Mbanjo will be another body on the side to make sure that those one-twos are sort of eliminated, mm. you know, whenever they sort of try and combine. Mm. So just to show that, I mean, Mfugain loves these areas here. He can come in from deep, go inside there, 1v1. But when you've got... When you get like this back five, as we mentioned here, if you've got a back five in that area over there, all of a sudden these areas become so, so congested. If I bring Masangani in there and just take Mabasa in there, it becomes very, very tight. And now it's hard for you to find joy and to find space and, and to sort of have your way because, you know, wherever you look, there's a body. And I think that's probably the best way to go about it because he's, for a 19-year-old, in fact, for any player, wing player, he's so, so intelligent in terms of how he finds space in his movements. Mm. All right, just another reminder. Kickoff delayed by 15 minutes. And the fans that have made their way into the stadium, they are looking forward to a edge of the seat, spectacular Ned Bank Cup encounter that uh, Orlando Pirates, the defending champions, are well capable of bringing. But they have to overcome the fact that at centre back, their three centre backs are missing for this one with uh, Koki suspended, the captain, and then Sibisi suspended, as well as Oli Sanda out with injury. That's meant to reshuffle. What does that mean for these fans? What does it mean for Orlando Pirates? Only the match will tell us. But guys, what I need from you now is let's have a little bit of a chat around what your prediction for this is, how you think it's going to pan out. And I'll start with who do you think is going to win Stigger? And then we'll fight about, you know, how you come to that conclusion. I do think that um, coming into this game, I thought that Amazulu had a chance, but the more we've discussed um, the aspects that could uh, transpire today, I, I have to think that Orlando Pirates are going to... So you changed your own mind? I, I did. Must I tell you why? I did. The fans. I never expected them to come Lost. in the numbers that they did. And that is a massive thing. Uh. That's a massive thing. That plays on the on the likes of, and Bongani mentioned it, Motwa needs to shout out instructions to his defense. <coughs> that is not possible anymore. So Orlando Pirates are used to playing in this week mm. in, week out. So that is a massive, they talk about the 12th man, mm. and that adds so much more. We spoke about uh, Mabasa on form just off the back of a hat-trick, um, the, the players in and around him. Clamini has been given an opportunity. He's mm. taking his chance now. So he wants to further show the coach that he wants to do that. So the quality that Orlando Pirates have up front, I feel that they're going to possibly um, take this one. Bongani, the, he has said it out nicely there. Yeah. You know, and he changed his mind. He was <laughs> with Usu too, right up until he saw the ghost uh, come into the stadium. <laughs> and he's like, mm -mm. The Ghostbusters are not down in uh, Durban, yeah. Yeah. so he does not think that there can be a Ghostbusting performance from Amazulu today. Yeah. What do you think? You know, with all these sort of different factors yeah, that sort of happened to, to Pirates, as you mentioned, I would have thought Amaz it might be Amazulu's day, but again, I think I've also been sort of convinced there. You I'm, gave me bananas. You told me all the things <laughs> that Pirates uh, would need to be concerned about today that yeah. gave Amazulu a chance. Yeah. And now at the end of it, you're feeling that it's, it's maybe just not enough? I think it's just not enough. I think Pirates, Pirates will just have way too much. I mean, you know, they, they, just, they just know how to adapt to different situations. And I think, again, the tough man will come into effect. I think Pirates 2-1. I think, yeah, I think there's one goal in it for Pirates 2-1. Right, let's uh, take a final view 
at the fans. Always colourful are our South African football fans and they've come out in huge numbers. They do not want to miss this one. Neither do you. The 15 minute delay is now a thing of the past. The action is about to come your way at the Moses Mabida Stadium and it is Amazulu who have never beaten a Places, sundowns taken uh, the whole way, taken down to the Aya. They were pushed to the limit by Mutsipe Foundation Championship side Amatax. And uh, earlier on, Stellies were rampant as they hammered Super Sports United by four goals to nil to book a place in, in the yet another net are having. They've already got one trophy in the bag, as do Orlando Pirates, of course, having already won the MTN8. They want to add another one, and their fans have come out in their numbers. Amanda Zagmini, the former Bayana Bayana captain, is alongside me uh, this uh, evening. And uh, phew, what an atmosphere out there, Amanda. What an occasion. This is going to be a real test of nerve as well for Amazulu that they have to play the game and not the occasion. Absolutely, TT. It's so exciting to be out here at Moses Mavida. The atmosphere is absolutely electrifying. I doubt that we've seen this much of a turnout in this competition at this stage. Uh, but of course, I think this sets up both teams very nicely. Orlando Pirates coming in in fine form, having scored those goals. But Amazulu turn things around. Let's have a look at what the coaches have done. I've got to tell you, not many changes uh, from uh, their last outings. Uh, as for also to very good win away from home. And they don't forget about you. And yes, you're born and I wait. They used to have a call on a pregame. A pinch in the junior John. Everything picking the good kid up. I'm going to sell card. The pants and the good kid up. I'm going to come to Kenton City. What shall I go with him? Oh, step good to the lady. I've been quite a bit of a Kiona. Yaro. It's the name. What did he play? Bugu Banja. Do you know why in that big cup of 2010? Obano Kubura de Ojaro, Nancy's versus Spain, Yapazu Fitz, I party, Abaning, Basu Lisa, Icas, Lakela, Paragon, Facebook, Kubanad, Bosu, Becala, Utibala, Segan, Goraka Sazi, Jose Riferio, Sipo Chain, Dean Hotto, Market and Macau, Amigo Tim, was born at Walunio Sangoti, Patrick Massanga, Batitito. Boeni, at the Minister of Finance, Corona, the Pregola Setembis, a Sabon Pontiano Corner Pitches, the Canary Passam, Naila Prago Capping, and notice I am a little bit of Orlando Pirates in team is Corner, Umaela, Open Motuari, Umaela, Umakaula, Umakaul team, Gempera Gas, who would get Tambo, Namtanji, who come getting gain in Zela Umzalo Goba, Abona. Angwana kuna band abazo magam ku hoto ya unto shona pambiri eh uta kofa soma baso kanja ndo la para na bolsa minisi yake la para kwenye toga mastore bambiso abu yana kwa zobis lau la ikuza ibeka na para na pana ba bena bora para kumureti normal song na ida para kuyuchi mfugam chuli asmas gakuru kila para kwa simlazi kona na etewe ni kwa kwa pana na kuto mani kwenye kwenye kina eh eh soma raki enben kapo Quarter final is Tatu, Amba Masimus Yamanezela, Ezra Kapur Tabu Maspala, I want the Masamu to Masanke Nabantum Tanami, Atiku Suaran to Tatu Muntu, Joku Peg and Shim, Ekoza, Inetu Mela, No my Moop of Figa in Farashile, Utu Mambone, Emma Peta, Tomanigi, Nigu Samarak, Sibia Mangani, Ezra Kapur Tabu and Dota. Seven in Kala Lindawa, Hongu, Pikitimo, Nicolas Pasua Session, who played a Kitimo team, Ted Marcella, Kyona final, Yamo 1988, over with Mainstay Cup, Nova Peralum Cutelano, Unemiaga, Ota, 
onke amaqembu asuke khona kulona ibhola kazi laseningizimu Afrika noma ngabe mhlambe kulipi izinga uma nje ngempela ubhalisile kuyona inhlangano kasafa uyazithola ithuba lokudlala lokuqhudelwano kungakho ke laba bencenxe ukuthi mabaqinisekise ukuthi bayaya kuma federations abo kujoyina Underway, it is Net Bank Cup. This is the third of the quarterfinals. It's Amazulu in the green, the home side in the green, and under Pirates to get us underway. And uh, they are in uh, all black, as in Nyaman and Kani, the defending champions looking to stay on track to win what would be their 10th title in this competition uh, over the years in its various guises uh, since they first won it way back in 1973, 50 years ago. So they are looking to go one better and uh, defend the trophy that they won uh, last year. And in the process, uh, they will pick up their fifth Netbanger Cup trophy since uh, it's been known as the Netbank Cup. Now, early on, Pirates making the, the early running here, looking to get on the front foot. And I think they know they will be up against it. Amazulu, they will be up against a team that are in supreme, that are in confident mood. And with, as is this man, already a contender for player of the season for Orlando Pirates, one must say. He's been absolutely fantastic in his first season with the club. Yeah, Maswangani is always just uh, in top form, looking forward to pulling the strings in that midfield alongside the likes of Mufugeng. But a big task for Amazulu this evening to make sure that they are compact and not make those mistakes. Could be a chance here, clearance on the line. Amazulu looking to play themselves in trouble here. Living rather dangerously. It's going to take some time. They're going to need to settle their nerves as quickly as they can. This crowd, the majority of this crowd, are clad in black. The colors of Orlando Pirates, they're supporting Orlando Pirates here, but there could be something on here. Hotto intervenes. And uh, chance for Amazulu to show what they can bring to this attack. Amazulu perennial bridesmaids in this competition. Six times they've been runners up. Six times they've been in the final, the last of which was in 2010. And, but they've never won this particular comp competition. And the Pirates, on the other hand, as I said, nine time winners over the years. Three times they've won it as a Netbank Cup, looking for their fourth Netbank Trophy. Netbank Cup Trophy. See what happens here. Good pressing. Yeah, good press. This is what you're going to see from Orlando Pirates that high press because they really want to unsettle 
that defense of Amazulu Feliz with the experience. He should know better. Try to do the simple things, get out of his box, building up very quickly. But here, yeah, almost caught into trouble. Disappointing effort there from the man in form. I would have expected him to do a lot better with that one. Look to like just pass it into the net, Mabasa. Two goals in the net bank cup. He's got uh, seven goals in, all, in the league for Orlando Pirates. In total this season, he's sitting on 13 goals. If you add the goals that he scored at uh, Swallows FC, if one floated into the back post, but uh, away by Felis. Sipo Chain coming out. Mabasa has done well here. Yeah. He could be in again. And Feli Moto gets done well. Uh, we got that. He is certainly has rediscovered his best form as Veli Mortua since uh, the international break, the last international break. He's come back into the side, having display, been uh, displaced by Olwe Tum Zimela, who is not even on the bench uh, this evening. Um, Andy Limbanjwa deputizing this evening and uh, good work from Hotto to shepherd it behind the 4 a goal kick. Yep, end to end stuff. These opening stages of the game, Mabasa just taking full advantage of the ball at the top by passing that midfield, beating Mpashel in that aerial duel. And this is a powerful shot, and I must say, Velimoto up to the task. Saw him during the warm up, very sharp and very focused, pulling up a brilliant save. That is definitely a man that Bafana Bafana goalkeeper definitely rediscovered, has rediscovered his best form. In the nick of time, when his, when his team need him most. He's definitely the form man, is Tsopatop Mabasa. Really has been uh, quite a marvel to watch in uh, this, his second spell with the Lando Pirates. So all the Pirates there. Uh, Applying the early pressure here. Mufo King. Motwa. Easy for him. Easy pickings for Motwa. Just taking a moment to just settle things down, calm things down a bit. Holding on to that ball, but Mufo King, I thought, could have done a little bit better. Just floating that ball into that 18 yard box with that much of the pace to really connect with the strikers. Fato Moremi, who will, uh, really is having a very good season for Masulu, but he does not uh, come up with the goals in uh, considering how many promising positions he gets into. But let's have a look at uh, Maswangangi combining here with Mufuke. Great stuff here from Mufuke. The cutback! Hanamup scrambles it away. It's going to come straight back at him. All pirates at the, in, at the early, in the early exchanges here. At the Moses Mapida Stadium. Hotto, who uh, has now, I guess, uh, become a full time wing back now. That's his new position. Uh, it changed the uh, uh, formation, I guess, for Orlando Pirates at the back now with uh, Kulki's absence. Maela coming in. Yep, bring up with Sasani, who also had a little bit of game time. The beat is still in that advanced position as the wing back. Just trying to get that numerical advantage in that midfield. How much of a just okay, let's have a look first here at uh, Mofo King. Really with Mofo King. Goes for the shot, but it's a tame one. But uh, already Veli Mota has been a busy man in these opening uh, exchanges. It's been one-way traffic. And, uh, well, Amazulu are going to have to weather a storm, and I'm sure they knew that uh, they're going to have to do a lot of work without uh, the ball. And that, uh, mean, that means suffering for long periods. Yep, and maybe that's the reason why the inclusion of Mubara in that midfield to really try and get that muscle, but also to help in that defense. 
Roman Pathele read that uh, beautifully as uh, Dion Hato looked to run onto it. And then the high press there, they won it back up in a very high position and could be problems here for Amazulu. They are really having, they have their backs to the wall here to Usutu. Great ball and a chance here for Masolangi. Dali Dali too long. Why not pull the trigger the first time the opening was there? Yep, I thought he should have just pulled the trigger onto his better foot, that is uh, his strongest foot on his left. I thought he could have just unleashed a powerful shot, but great interpassing of, of, of a great interchange of passes here. They turn over that ball, they lose the ball, they get it back, but in for game, once again, that brilliant pass should have taken the TT. I want to beat the man when they, they had his goal at his mercy, they could have taken a shot. In comes the corner to the near post. And that's a poor effort from Maela. He was uh, falling backwards there. The Pirates pirate captain, club captain, uh, with a rare start for him, only his fifth start this season. The injuries once again have uh, disrupted his progress this season. Zulu not shy to play out the back even though they are being put under tremendous pressure pirates applying this high press to, to, uh, to great effect early on here here's Hotto Levito was calling for it uh, completely unmarked look at this now Miguel Tim is closed down and look at Sipo Chain playing Pretty much high, you know, as a sweeper now. Yep. Miguel Tim. For King, once the return ball gets it. Skakan is done excellently. Not falling for the trickery of the youngster, and uh, that's, we'll get the throw in going to be very important for Skakane in this battle on 1v1 situations with Mfukeng. He's one physical player as well, not to really lose his tempo, lose his calm, because when he does, he does really get a little bit physical and they do need him. Some instructions from Londi Banjo here, from the coach. Needs to get something going there because they're at the moment here. Yeah. They are, there's pirates are applying some hectic pressure here, not allowing Amazulu time on the ball. And when pirates do break their tech with, they've got numbers in their attack. It's good now work for Amazulu to win it up so high up in the field now. Can they get something on here? That'll be a bit of a confidence booster if they can get a, a shot on goal here. The pirates have uh, regrouped. Uh, Moremi, Eckstein, just muscled off the ball with some ease by Cabello Jameni. Mahaula, former Amazulu man, of course. He was with Amazulu at the start of the season. Now oh, the first 10 minutes have flown by here. It's been an OS now, wave after wave of black attacks here. Yes, that's a disappointing ball. You know, what was a promising attack? Mazulu will be looking to do that a little bit more often. Getting that quick pass to Hanamu to locate Amoremi, who we know when he gets the ball with speed, passing into space, will want to capitalize on the Libito, who might be a little bit in an advanced position. But of course, it's just the timing on those transitions. Malas are coming deep here yeah, and uh, fouled by. Uh, Raman Pasele. I wonder whether he's been given the job on Mabasa. It's gonna have a busy night. Pleading. Mabasa. Yeah, Mabasa has rather been a handful. I mean, it's three out of three already. But of course, this is the confidence that you need as a, a defender. Raman Pasele just winning one of those. But he should be really be mindful not to really be dragged or sucked into that midfield. It's going to be very important uh, is in the uh, Amazulu's defensive efforts here. I think together with uh, Velimota, you get a sense he's going to be a very a key man in this game. 
It's the attack of Orlando Pirates versus the defense of uh, Amazon. A good running here from Remy the cutback. Just didn't connect there. What a that's a po most positive move. Let's wallow. He knows that was a great chance. Just didn't connect them. Yep, he knows. And these are the moments where Amazon are going to be very clinical. Especially when they get those rare opportunities on the transition or when they force those turnovers. Litsualo, a goal poacher in his nature. He knows he missed a big, big opportunity. Second appearance in this year's season's Netbank Cup. He's got one goal. That's Litsualo. Oh, the ball over the top there, but uh, Motor read it well and came off his line. But uh, I think if from an Amazon point of view, Amanda, uh, you're not going to get many chances. That sort of opportunity that fell for Letoado, you should be making the keeper do work. There are not going to be many of those. You can see the early exchanges here have set really what the scene of what we can expect to come. Here's Miguel Tim, dispossessed. More good work defensively there by... Oh, now for great work to win the ball back by Mufu King. They are not allowing Amazon the time to play out. Now Veli Mota finds just too much. That's too much frustration for Moremi asking too much and he apologizes. He knows he overcooked that one. Yep, he knows overcooked, a little bit rushed as well. Mm. This is where you need a little bit of control. Choosing those moments when to calm things down a little bit. You know that you're planning for the transition, but you have to execute it so that you don't give the ball back to the opposition because the Lander Pirates are really in control. Levitsa is going to have to watch uh, Moremi a few times. He's managed to get uh, behind him and uh, have a run at the centre-backs. Yep, that's the whole idea. Mahola. Great to see him out there after that scare against Hungry Lions. But uh, he's come back, it looks like, like his old self. Pato. Great work from Amasuru to win the ball back, but immediately the pressure is on Miguel Tim. They get Das Wild as Extin to get uh, through that uh, challenger. As he tries to release Letoalo, once a quick one. Much better for Musutu. Starting to ask some questions of their own here. After weathering the storm there in the opening quarter of an hour, yet was uh, all pirates. Staying in the game as long as they can. Amazon, that will be the biggest uh, objective for them. And when they do get those opportunities or when they eventually force the opposition to land the Pirates into their own half, that's where the control needs to come into play. But also crisp passing, accuracy, but also just being clinical in front of goal. Look at that uh, position stat. No surprises there, really. Now, ball looking to hang one in. That was Feliz, but... Uh, Chain grabs it out the air. Uh, he's expressing frustration about something. Super chain, I think, uh, yeah. And the referee is allowed. He's given a free kick. Let's allow us there, preventing uh, Chain from taking a quick one. Yep. This is the 15th time that Orlando Pirates have reached the quarterfinals of uh, the NetBank Cup in the PSL era. Only Sundowns have reached more uh, quarterfinals and now are already through to the semis. Uh, Sundowns after the narrowest of win over first division uh, of Mutsipe Foundation's Mutsipe Foundation Championship side attacks really gave him a scale. And for King, the crowd enjoyed that as, as, as Amazulu stand off and allow Pirates to run at them. Otto. Oh, they've given it away here now. Mubara. Just a disappointing ball there. Zumaremi looks to run on to it. Yeah, Pirates are just giving away the ball carelessly now. Uh, in the last five minutes or so. Ekstein. That's a great ball from Ekstein. Great reaction as well from Sipochain. 
quickly off the line. They saw the danger there of the speedy, and he had just gone offside. The flag was up, but great vision from Ekstein. Great vision from Ekstein. You'd expect that from him, just playing behind the striker, Lizualo. Remy, I don't think that was an offside at all. Weight of the pass was absolutely brilliant. And no, Muremi gliding off that shoulder was on. I tend to agree with you. I don't think that was offside. That's the near side assistant, Mulisa Moretti. We foresee Zeo Moretti. I must say, Hendrik Ekstein is probably playing as well as I've seen him in a long time, probably not since his early days at Kaiser Chiefs. So he really has been the key in uh, everything that the Amazon have done uh, in attack. It's really looked good. Yeah, contribution as well where goals are concerned. That certainly does give you the confidence. And if you have quality st of strikers around you as well, in the likes of Moremi, Mitsualo as well, surely those combinations uh, you have uh, the likes of uh, the likes of uh, Om Quem uh, uh, on the bench as well as uh, Dion. Those are quality strikers who can give you those runs. So surely the quality is going to show. Simple chain. Levito. Taviso Levito, one of three Tavisos in the Pirates squad for this match day. There's a Sasani there out on the field in defense and then uh, Munyani on the bench. Levito can hit them from here. Never got a hold of that one. Moremi now with space to run into. Tepa Moremi. Try to pick out uh, Letualo. Dion Harto. Makasheli Mahal. so far I think Hamas will be happy they've uh, managed to weather the storm that early pressure from Pirates and uh, avoided conceding but uh, it's gonna the tone has been set this is the way it's gonna be Pirates will have most of the possession and Hamas will be looking to to hit on the break or Rather employ that uh, transition, trying to hit on transition, as you guys like to say, Amanda. Does that mean it? Countering the counter. Here you go. Here you go. 20 minutes flown by here in this one, the third of the quarterfinals of the NetBank Cup for 2024. Look at that. I mean, the total passes are just reflective of who has had most of the possession. Levitsa looks to turn it around the corner. Last of uh, the semis takes place, or the quarterfinals takes place tomorrow. Of course, you can see that one live as well, featured in the 2019 Champions uh, TS Galaxy. It's a great ball to find Dion Hotto, who drives one nail into the middle, just looking for anyone to guide it home, really. Now it's going to take Kulanda Pirates to really be calm in that final third. The decision making, the kind of passes that they're going to make in that final third are going to be very crucial. So Mufukeng really trying to lob the ball over. It's not really what they enjoy. Love to get that cut back. John Hotter, a fierce cross as well. Should the weight of the pass should be a lot better. Free kick, the little shove in the backer. Uh... TS Galaxy will face Chippa United tomorrow in the last day. Uh of the quarterfinal matches and following that match the draw will be done for the semi-finals chipa coming off a big morale boosting win over kaiser chiefs and equally so to his galaxy with those yes. three wins in a row very impressive very much so one of the form size ts galaxy whoa phillies almost caught out there as uh, Velimoto gives him a mouthful. But you know, when they say that uh, form is temporary, class is permanent, 
that uh, embodied really by what uh, what happened recently with Veli Motwa, that he made the Bafana squad despite not being the first choice keeper at Amazulu at the time. And now he's stormed back and shown his quality. Yep. This is great stuff from Orlando Pirates. A fantastic interchanging of pass. I'm intricate passing there, but they've lost it just as I shower them with praise. Moremi here. Still, Moremi has done well, but uh, Miguel Tim covers. That's what he does. He's, uh, he tidies up. He's the cleaner. Two men down on the field, a Pirates player. And uh, is it Moremi that stayed down after that tangle with... Uh, um, uh, with Miguel Tim gives us an opportunity to catch our breath here and reflect on what we've seen in this opening 20 minutes. Uh, Amanda Lamini, or just your observations? Yep, into end stuff, TT. Thought uh, London Paris just with the better opportunities, but they too just lacking that control in the final third. The decision making, the kind of passes that they're making, they are tending now because of the spaces that uh, Amazon are not giving them. They can't play in between the lines, forcing Masongangi to play a little bit back instead of just a little bit up front, just behind Mubarak. But this is the physicality that you're going to see the entire match in Pahele, just making his presence felt on Mabasa, not having his way. Yes, uh, they're putting pressure on each other like a high up. Uh, occasionally do apply the counter press to uh, Amazulu. And uh, Tepa Moremi is not a player they want to lose. Interestingly, Tepa Moremi has only got one goal in Amazulu colors. And this is the second stint. Of course, last season, Moremi was out at JRDR Stars Unknown. A man was signed from Pondo Chiefs. Scored his one and only goal for Amazulu against Orlando Pirates in December 2021. And that, uh, yeah, that's the last time he scored. It's quite remarkable for a player who gets into so many goal scoring opportunities or does as much attacking as he does yeah his conversion rate should be a lot better than that because of the qualities that he has and i think coaches do really include him in the starting lineup because of his speed it becomes an outlet it becomes a reference the quality of crosses that he will give or deliver likes of xtn as well should benefit from that kind of delivery how much of that are you taking in when you get instructions during the game like that? How much are you actually taking in, in the heat of the game like that? Well, you're taking as much as you can. What, or what you want what, to take in. Exactly, what relates to you. <laughs> <laughs> what relates to you. But most of the time, it has to be a little bit solution-driven because you two as a player going to the sidelines, there's frustrations or complaints that you're talking about and hoping that the coach could give you a solution. So far, so good for Veli Montois showing his, uh, when the questions have been asked, he's come up with the answers. Man from ZP, Zepetier, uh, out uh, in uh, Limpopo. From Wednesday, we got the likes of uh, Bans Papela, the legend, Mangredi Sadlan's legend. And uh, I forget which one of the, uh, which one of the, Bayana Bayana stars also hails from Zerbeti and uh, we'll get back to that in a moment. Uh, that's almost a great ball that through there. Chance here for Mubarak, thinks about the shot, fires one in, but uh, no power, not enough power to trouble chain. Sipo Chain, of course, who had a spell out on the sidelines when Melu Sebutele as he took over while uh, he was injured, but of course everyone will remember his heroics uh, from the MTN8 final when he's made all those saves in the penalty shootout against Mamelodi Sundowns. Tito Maswangangi with a little bit of sauce. He is having the time of his life at the moment, is uh, Maswangangi. Otto. Choosing to wear gloves tonight. Yep, Eka in the Derbs, where the sun, where the sun never sets, like the fun. <laughs> when the man's gone for gloves, it is definitely no way. This not club weather. Swaggy match. <laughs> they call Rather. it. They call it Dubai. <laughs> ah, is that what it is? Yes. Dubai. I like. <laughs> man down for Pirates, and uh, has the referee given a free kick? has indeed 
Tabby Solibito, formerly, of course, start of the season at Chippa United. And uh, he has already made, uh, earned himself a uh, place in the hearts of the Pirates fans, thanks to his goal, his memorable moves. I tell you what, Kibito might never score a goal like that <laughs> again, in terms of not just the quality, but the importance of the goal. In the game in which you know it's a bit like Yusuf Mart and the goal that he scored that that goal it's like after that you might as well just retire because you're not gonna be scoring a goal like that again in a derby engraving your name in the Soweto derby in that fashion it's yeah. top top quality yeah for Libito that thunderbolt that he at least was in his very first Soweto derby Speak under correction. I think it was even his first goal against Chiefs. This is good work here now, but uh, just uh, asking too much of the speedy Moremi. But also, how many of those, how many runs is he going to make? Mm. The entire match or entire 45 minutes is yeah. going to be very exhausting, taxing on the legs. In terms of options on the bench, they do have uh, Augustine Chidiquem. They do have uh, two Augustines, Mulenga and uh, Chidiquem, and they still have City Dion. You made the you made the comment, uh, Toki, um, of air uh, that uh, looks like the coach is uh, wants to win the game off the bench. Now, Hanamu, he said, looking for oh, how to bring it into danger. from Dion Otto with a bad flick and he's been punished for his cockiness. What a strike! Totally against the run of play. But having weathered the storm in that first quarter of an hour, Amazulu have been coming into this game more and more and more. What a strike! His second in this net and cup. But what a ball here as well. What a delivery from Hanamu. Dion Hartzell, with the kind of experience, should have done a lot better. He should know that you cannot take risks in the box, especially a clearance like that. And a lurking Hendrik Ekstein, who we've been praising for his form this season, Absolutely. takes full advantage with a thunderous shot nothing China could do. Absolutely, Amanda. That just captures the man's form at the moment. Bule Ekstein is that guy at the moment. He's the guy he thinks he is. Mm, absolutely he is. Stunning this massive pirate support that's packed into Moses Mabida. Into silence. A shocked hush really around the stadium. Like where did that come from? It's been coming though. A little shove in the back there. Referee waves play on. Look at that, the goal attempts a 3-2-6. And uh, those are on target, 2-2-3. Two, two, just to pick up on your statement, Titi, it's been coming. Melinda Price just not having full control. The passes as well, just being misplaced. A little bit casual, trying to get those spaces, yes. Amazulu, very compact, making sure that they deny them the spaces they want to operate in. Compared to the opening stages, this is not the learning variants we saw. Yeah, they have relinquished control of the game, you know. They had Amazulu where they wanted them. And uh, now, I think Amazulu, as I say, knew they had to weather a storm here. There's uh, Ben Matswari tangling there with uh, Tito Maswangani. Now Pirates need a response. And they need it soon. It's a good time to take a... Uh, to score an opening goal huh, uh, on the half hour mark. Not happy there. In the Amazulu coach Franco. Pablo Franco Martin. Hotto. Playing with uh, Maswangani. Space opening up here in front of Miguel Tim. Tries to hang one out to Mufoke. He's done well to get up there, Mufoke. Probably the smallest or the second smallest man on the pitch. 
after 18. Kakane has uh, curbed his attacking instincts. He is uh, clearly playing the instruction here. He's holding back. The importance of staying in the game. And that's what Amazulu have really done in your terms within the storm. Now, this uh, doesn't look good. Is it Teraman Pachele that's down? Looks like Ben. Oh, it's Ben Mutswari. Mm. Yeah, they don't want to lose him either. They don't want to lose him either. They need yeah, his institutional memory in terms of uh, Orlando Pirates, how Pirates play, what Pirates can do, of course. He has spent a few seasons at Pirates. Uh, started this, this effect uh, move from Pirates at the start of this season. And he has uh, established himself as one of the key men in that midfield. His experience is key. Now, Pirates having to do it all again, really. Just to re-establish their dominance. Skatan is uh, taking good care of uh, young Mufu King so far. It's okay to have him have the ball in front of him, not getting behind him, not allowing him to get behind. Zamini, that's a decent ball from Zamini, away by Mpasele. Uh, that would have been special. That would have been special and a bit of gold dust as well from Sasani. He was yet to score for the Pirates. He's done well, really, to extend now to have uh, displaced somebody like Sandy Lenteto, who would have been the natural replacement uh, um, in that centre back, you know, for his position. Uh, but he's uh, established. This is his third appearance now. He's uh, establishing himself as a real option for Pirates, yeah, especially in the absence of a player like Nda. He's just presented himself as one of those very solid defenders. No space as well, of course, for Pirates. Ten minutes to go to the break. And a real turn up for the, for the books here. Yeah. On the balance of play, and just in terms of possession, the scoreline does not uh, really reflect uh, what we've seen here. But Amazulu, as the man that Lamino was saying, has have done what you want to do in games like this. Stay in the game. When you face a... Uh, an opponent that is superior in terms of for re you know attacking resources especially you just don't want to be out of the game too early or find yourself chasing the game too early because it just it disrupts whatever plans you have there's no playing for a draw in this situation as uh, oh chain has dropped it recovers does well there he knew he was out of position didn't want to allow chain to take that one quickly ah, he was beaten by something quite special there from an x team smack that one i mean it just set up beautifully for him though um for x team as muremi now looks to run it he's got three men around him three men in black around him uh, lost out there. This is good stuff again. Oh, excellent tackle. Excellent tackle from Livito. Mistake there. Oh, Masuda are forcing mistakes now. Mubara, X team, couldn't bring it under control. Good work from. Uh, Levito is now having to do a bit more defending. It's a free kick. Well, this season when conceding first at under Pirates, uh, that's happened on seven occasions. They've only managed the one win, and that uh, was uh, in the league game against the derby game against the Kaiser Chiefs. That's the only time that they've come from behind to win a match. They've drawn two matches in which they've uh, conceded first and lost four. 
and in cup matches they've conceded first in th on three occasions and they've won only once and that was uh, against Telly's in the MTN 8 semi-finals they could well meet Telly's again oh Pirates and oh now wait what was the call there referee decided there was a foul on Miguel Tim and it's Miguel Tim also pointing out there was a stamp on him that, oh, that could have been uh, dangerous as uh, the muscle were in there looking to take advantage of this very high line that Pirates are holding and this has been the problem uh, for me especially towards the later stages of the match Orlando Pirates are resorting to that long ball over the top doesn't make anything any better for especially a striker like Mabasa. He has to still get the ball under control, an aerial duel to try and challenge for the ball, bring it under control, find a person to pass. Every other midfielder is far right ahead in this in the center on the halfway line. So if they can resort to rotating the ball a lot better, this is Orlando Pirates, they yeah. can actually look a lot much better. So playing into Amazulu's hands actually if they with this uh, long ball that they're playing. Absolutely. Nicely done here, Mutswari. Ben Mutswari looking to carry it. Litswalu. Hot off a company. Mutswari stayed down. Oh, what a turn from Bule Ekstein. Oh, yes. He's buzzing out there now, Bule Ekstein. Yeah, referee, well, no obligation to stop play. It's not a head injury. So he'll have to wait for one of his teammates, uh, Mutswari for the ball to go out of play so he can get attention now if they win it here that's exactly well Pule Orana Skakane tried to play it out but it was blocked by the beat so and then now they'll get a chance to have him attended to and uh, he's back on his feet struggling a bit still Bit of a Spanish derby here. No, no sentiments though. No love lost here. It's pure passion out there. And there's a job to be done here. And Feli Moto also down now, receiving, needing a bit of help. Seems to be pointing to his car or something. Surely can't be cramping. This is how we break the momentum. Yes, I was about to say. Oh, is this a bit more of gamesmanship? Yep. Fantastic crowd in attendance here. That's why we had to. A pity we had to wait for them. But 48,000. That was the allocated number of tickets. It's a sellout here at uh, the Moses Mavita Stadium. Fantastic, wonderful. Give yourselves a round of applause. Yeah, I know they're wasting time. Yeah. Very more time. Just like to steal a few more minutes off the game. But uh, in any case, when uh, this kind of thing does, if it feels that's like gamesmanship on the part of it, uh, yes, it breaks momentum. But uh, um, that time will be added. It's a tricky one for for referees, though. How do you know when someone is feigning injury unless you actually hear or catch them out when they're giving a signal for the keeper to go down? Yep. I've seen that a couple of times. Mm. Lady D and Just Ice are not happy. That's in my movie, through one. <laughs> Daily bread, he reckons. This is Amazon. Last time they met, only other time they met this season was a scoreless draw, but uh, Marriott have had the better of the exchanges over the years. Beat them twice last season including in that uh, cup final. Maswangangi now to Tim. Miguel Tim. Maswangangi! Oh, that looked to be heading to the top left-hand corner of uh, the goals of uh, Velimoto. A crucial deflection that took it away from goal. And uh, Maswangangi was caught in all that. Take a look at this. So much better. Performing those triangles that you'd love to see from Orlando Pirates. Quick 
interchange of passes, not really over elaborating on the ball. Definitely thought Mbukeng was on target. Crucial intervention there by Tarek Phillies. And the uh, ball looked pretty dangerous. It's a corner. Pirates now are looking to get on level terms before the break here. Great turn steal here from uh, X Team. They don't have numbers in this attack. X Team couldn't get it out wide. He was trying to get Skakani. He was out on the overlap. And now he's out of position, Skakani. And goes the. Oh, the referee's pointed to the spot penalty. The foul on Mahala. Mahala got up and celebrated like it scored. Martin is not happy. That's the last thing that Damasuno needed after all the hard work is now going to be undone by a moment of uh, ill-discipline. We'll have a look at it again in a moment. Didn't look like there was much in it. It looked like maybe a shove in the back. Veli Mortra is going to now have to try and pull off a stop to keep his side in it. The penalty will stand up. Talk to us, talk to us, talk to, to us through this one. Oh. Big call from the referee. Massive call. It didn't look like there was a lot in there. Not a lot in there. Makaula knew where he was. Feliz just caught there. Feliz uh, protesting his innocence there. Yeah. Says uh, he didn't touch him. But Makaula, the way he celebrated that one. This is like, I love it when the plan comes together. Oh, man. Who's got the ball in hand? Mabasa missed the penalty, of course, in that uh, route of uh, arrows. And now, Veli Motor be given a bit of advice as to which way this one might go. Who's got the ball in hand? Doesn't mean that's going to be the taker, by the way. Whoever has the ball in hand, it doesn't mean he'll be the taker. Could be a ploy just to put them off. Now it's Maswangani, by the looks of things. Let's yep. put it down. Yep. Yeah. Tito Maswangani, five goals this campaign for him and what a time to concede a penalty can pirates draw level maswanangi sends a keep on the wrong way we are all square we are all square maswanangi gets his first of the net bank cup his sixth of the season and what a time to get it. Crucial time indeed to get this goal from Maswangani. Well taken spot kick. Waits for the goalkeeper, Veli Motwa, to commit. He slots it the other way. And once again, I thought this is a really, really tough call on Phillies. An extension of hands, you may say. But very well converted by Maswangani. Sends the keeper the wrong way, but beautifully disguised, beautifully disguised by Maswarangi. And Pirates are back level, game on. Amazon, all the great work that they've done now, undone by what they will definitely feel was a harsh call. It really, honestly, the one, the angles that we've shown you there, you can see for yourself. Make up your own mind. Didn't look like there was a great deal in it. But, uh, you know, Anytime you make contact with a player in the box, you really are taking your life into your own hands. Yep, very risky. It's one all looking to apply pressure here. Some good work here from Amazulu. Maela then just managing to scramble it away. Here's Maswangani. Zamini works it wide to Nibizo. Zamini again. Covered by uh, Mpasele. <laughs> we mean a lot wrong, pirates. <laughs> yeah, no, there'll be quite a few out there. <laughs> Tarek Phillips, the man. Uh, who that big call was made against Skakani tripped up there by Mabasa who's uh, been kept quiet in this first half so hardly had a sight on goal except for that one that he had a great chance that he had early on in the game 
which I thought he could have done a lot better with. Yeah, Pacel has been doing a great job on him. But his teammates haven't made it any easy for him as well. The kind of delivery or service. It's Kakani, beautifully done. 16, what a first half he's had. Banjo. He's possessed by John Hato. Mufuki. That's the whistle for half time then from uh, Mr. Masitola Bambi. So what a first half that was. Absolute fantastic entertainment. This man, Maswanganya made, got it. Crucial intervention that changes the conversation at halftime here for as the London Pirates have uh, brought themselves in, back into their game after this man's spectacular strike. Uh, a little dejected, you can see, I think, uh, the Mazulu players, uh, as they felt that that was a harsh call. And what a strike, though, from Bullingston to open the scoring after Amazulu had to, to absorb a lot of pressure and endure a period of pain. But uh, it's all square going into the break. And uh, the coach 